The focus of this video is on finding the holes and vertical asymptotes of a rational function. So we're going to go ahead and consider the rational function f of x equals x squared minus 4 over x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now when considering the holes and vertical asymptotes of a rational function, you want to start off by getting both the numerator of the rational function and the denominator of the rational function in factored form. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the numerator, and we're going to ask ourselves, okay, hey, we have this difference of squares, so we should automatically know how to factor that, but just in case, what two numbers multiply together to give you negative 4, but add together to give you that middle value of 0 that you don't see? And, of course, that would be negative 2 and a positive 2. And then we know that x times x gives us our x squared. So that's how we factor the numerator. And then in the denominator, we're going to also do factoring, but this time it's what two numbers multiply together to give you 6, but add together to give you 5. And the answer is 3 and 2. And so we get the factors x plus 3 and x plus 2. So that's factored form for f of x. So that's your first step. And then in your second step, um, in order to uh, kind of reduce this function down to lowest terms, you would cancel out the common factors from numerator to denominator. And we can see that there's a common factor at x plus 2. So um, before we reduce that completely down, um, just note that that's where a hole will exist, wherever you have a common factor. In fact, you would take that common factor and you would set it equal to zero to find the hole. And so we'll subtract two from both sides and we get x equals negative two. So we know that this function has a hole at the point negative two comma f of negative two. So we'll have to figure out that f of negative 2 piece, um, but in order to do that we want to write our function in lowest terms first. So we go ahead and do that, and we're left with x minus 2 over x plus 3. So to get that f of negative 2 piece of the whole, um, wherever there's an x, put parentheses, and then go ahead and fill in what was an x, fill it in with negative 2 because that's what x is, it's negative 2. And so when we go ahead and simplify this we're left with negative 4 over 1 which is negative 4. And so again uh, this gives us a hole at the point negative 2, negative 4. Now if we go ahead and back and look at our function f of x, which I'm going to go ahead and put a box around, um, what's remaining in the denominator will help you to determine what your vertical asymptotes are. In fact, you would set those factors equal to zero. In other words, find the zeros of that denominator and um, solve for x. So we would subtract 3 from both sides here and we'd get x equals negative 3. And so that forms a vertical line. That vertical line is a vertical asymptote. And, um, and that would complete this video on finding the holes and vertical asymptotes of a rational function.